This is Evan Yaris with Design World, and I'm at the booth of Cap Video at SolidWorks World 2012, and we're talking about some, what is essentially model-based enterprise, the new method of transferring models instead of drawings. And I'm talking with Thomas, and could you pronounce your last name? For Thomas me? Luniewski. Luniewski. I'm not even going to try to get that right. But we're talking about their software for SolidWorks, particularly their software called CompareWorks. I'm going to pan up here and take a look at CompareWorks. Tom, can you explain to, to us why CompareWorks is important for SolidWorks users? Well, CompareWorks is very important for uh, because of two reasons to SolidWorks users. Well, especially for people who work with the imported CAD models. So if you well, have to use the work done or prepared in another CAD system, you import that this model into SOLIDWORKS and you want to make sure that during this import process nothing has happened to your model, that your model maintained the integrity of the original model. So that's one thing. The second thing is that well, this small plugin called CompareWorks extends SOLIDWORKS capability to comply with model-based enterprise. Well, in a model-based enterprise, we use 3D model as an authority for all engineering data. So in this concept, well, 3D model starts to go from one system to another system, and each of those transformations requires a validation process. So, uh, well, integrating this uh, CompareWorks into SOLIDWORKS makes actually SOLIDWORKS compatible as a CAD system compatible fully with the requirements of model-based enterprise. Okay, so if I'm a, 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 say a small job shop and I'm working with a large aerospace company, I'm going to need something like CompareWorks in order to make sure that my internal models are validated and pass, no. pass the auditing processes that large aerospace manufacturer will pose. Right. Well, I think that, you know, there are two aspects to that. You can look at it from two different perspectives. I mean, that can be a requirement which is put by your customers that you have to comply with if they use model-based enterprise as a concept to run their business and you are part of that. On the other hand, this is as well a confidence you create for yourself to avoid possible issues or liabilities by, you know, making some, well, not uh, mentioning or not not actually uh, seeing that the model during the import process got changed. This is a well, it gives you a confidence that you are the, the, the data which you have in your system you are working with it's a correct data. It's the same as you received from your so, client. So this is a matter of good practice. Yes. Now, in this validation, this import process. Uh, if I'm trying to import CATIA files into SOLIDWORKS, it doesn't do that directly, but you have, you have tools to import CATIA files. Right. Well, I think you have to make a difference between validation and translation process. Well, translation can be done by different tools. Well, validation is a validation of the correctness of the translation process. So those are two separate processes. And of course, we provide some special tools which allow you to import the CAD models in the formats which are not supported in SOLIDWORKS. This product is another plugin which we offer for, for, for our users. Well, thanks for taking the time to explain this, and I hope the show works well for you. Well, thank you very much.